Look at that. Some good, fresh, clean, white tire litter. All right, guys, check this video out. You're about to learn to install some tire letters. All right, my friends, welcome, man. Uh, we got this nice Camaro here. That's going to be our our show car for the day. Uh, we put some high tire letters. You saw on the intro, we put some Goodyear tire letters on there. I'm going to show you the process of how to go about doing that. And before you start, this is what I truly highly recommend is some tire glue. We offer it within our kit. So if you order kits from us, you'll come with some glue, a rag, and a sander. Uh, you don't need a sander per se on smooth tires. I can't really tell, but let me get close. You see all this stuff here? This is what you want to try to sand down. All this stuff that's that's up, that's coming off, coming rising from the tire. That's what you want to smooth out. The goal of the sander is to get this thing nice and smooth, right? If you don't have it, use acetone. And for example, I would probably try to put it on here. It's nice and smooth. If you don't have a sander, use acetone and clean the tire as good as possible. Get any tire type of tire dressing off. Try to clean it as best possible and then apply, okay? Uh, okay, so let me go ahead and sand and uh, we'll go on to the next step. All right, guys, as you guys saw in the video, I sanded, but I also did measure. Measure exactly where you want to put your letters. I always like doing it with equal space in between them. So I go ahead and measure it through some, the, all the tires have some marks that if you can see, I always use those to evenly get the distance I need, but you can put them wherever you want. That's up to you. It's just, uh, I like to put it even. Uh, typically it looks the best. But if you can see, it's nice and sanded right try to keep it as smooth as possible that should adhere to the tire very very well uh let me go ahead and get the letters uh let me i'm gonna clean up the tire a little bit uh, and start putting glue on the letters and i'll show you what i do all right guys so what i do here is that i don't put too much glue uh i mainly coat the outline of it and then smear the glue in there it's a little warm today, so you don't want to put too much. Uh, you don't even want to put too much weather. It's too cold either. You want to put just enough so that I think could glue on there, and then you put pressure. Uh, you put too much, it smears, it takes longer to dry, and the job just looks messy. You want to put just enough, and then uh, you apply. So this one's about done, right? And then I already know where to put it because I already measured it this back tire is a little thin i got letters that will fit it on the dime precise okay and then once you put it on you know just start putting pressure uh, i like to go over it the whole letter real quick get on there and then i go one by one and put pressure as much as i can all over the letter and try to adhere that 
glue in that letter as much as possible. So that's pretty much it. And our kids come. Let me show you. Our kids come uh, with this transfer tape, so you don't have to worry about the spacing in between. Just worry about when you put the next one in equal spacing. But yeah, you just put uh, pressure, put enough glue, put some pressure, and it should stick on pretty good. Let me finish this tire, and I'll show you the, the right. finished product. So we sanded, cleaned it. Before that, we measured. And now you apply the glue. You know, be liberal about it, but not too much. You know, a good amount. You apply. You put. I usually put in one. By the time I go over here, put it one. This one kind of dries off. You know, just go ahead and uh, and then you could just pull off the transfer tape. It should come right off. Sometimes it sticks a little bit, but no problem. You know, you just grab it and just pull off with it. You know, uh. How careful do you have to be pulling it off? You don't have to be too careful. Uh, just kind of look at look at the letter. Is it does it is it pulling off with it? If it looks like it's pulling off with it, uh, go ahead and kind of you know leave it on a little bit. Maybe apply some more pressure. Put some more glue. Just look at it. Right, you're coming off this one right now. Looks good. It's not edging on the on the edge. Not part. Not rising. Look, it's nice and flush you can see it you know that's what i said you know just take your time with it it's not hard man it just requires some patience right uh it looks like it's coming off i kind of want one to raise up a little bit so i can show you guys right now but it looks like it's adhering pretty well they're not all gonna go on and be picture perfect like this <laughs> you know uh sometimes the tire's old sometimes the tires got cracks or maybe it needs some more sanding but uh just kind of you know take a look at it yeah as you're taking off the transfer tape look at the letters it rising up put some more glue put some more pressure but just take your time with it man take your time with it so let me go ahead and take that one off and then i'll wrap up this video man all right guys check it out finished product good year good year and good year if you ask why it's sideways that is a good question <laughs> uh i like working sideways uh as much as i can because i don't have to be moving the car back and forth you can take off the tires right if you're doing it at home i would recommend it you know jack it up take off the tire have some room you don't have to worry about missing the sander hitting your fender <laughs> Or whatever you know take off the tire clean it sand it and stall them i do it like this just because i got a high volume of customers i tell them to come in i sand sideways i sand sand install install sand sand install install same time and i'm done right i gotta i gotta get it i gotta get it done because i got another car or i gotta do this or i gotta do that so i'm doing it obviously in uh uh for business but for personal take your time with it. take the tire off if you want sand it uh let it cure out here so what i'm gonna do this customer came and dropped off the car i don't have another car for like another few hours so he's gonna let it sit for a good hour or two i recommend if you try to let it sit for as much as possible i even recommend sometimes people as soon as they put them on take it home uh let it sit and then let it cure but uh for the most part of these things this glue dries quickly uh within about 15 or 20 minutes uh but you know just uh play it safe so that is the tire letters right there. Check me out. Uh, I gotta re stop recording. Check me out on uh, IG, Speeds Tire Letters. Uh, just like the, the YouTube, the Abito Speeds, S-P-E-E-D-Z, Tire Letters, instead of a S, a Z in the end, on Instagram. Uh, I check that uh, every day, so that's how I get a lot of my orders. But other than that, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any comments, any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comment. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. If you need tips or you have letters there and you want uh, some advice, let me know, man. But other than that, have a good one.